Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to actually get the name of the person who's sending this message. And in order to do that, we have to send our username over here. What we can do is we can add another event, and this event will be for saying that the person is online. So we'll call it online. Now, what we want to do is we want to have an array of users where equals empty array and we're going to push user dot push there are two things that we need one is the socket object itself so we're gonna push the socket object the second thing we need to put is user details so we're going to put this here we need to emit an event so just go ahead and do this and here we're going to say this event is online and we also need to have an input that takes the username so we need to add that input as well so i'm just going to go ahead and add another form here and i'm going to call this username and this is going to go here id equals uh, message form and similarly we'll have user form let's replace this user type name that while is equal to zero so what we're essentially doing here is we are on submitting the user form we're sending an event or emitting an event that is online and we're sending whatever is in the username so we don't want to do that here when we receive this online event we get the user details and we push the socket and user details in one place now let's just go ahead and restart this server i'm just going to refresh this both sides so we have a few users connected so let's just go ahead and install this users refresh So I just got rid of all of the UI stuff um, and you can see there are two buttons now, the two forms that we have right now. The first one is going to be the message form, the second one is the user form. So let's add a new user and uh, send. So that should add this to our list. Now that means that we have new users being added but the next thing we need to do is to be able to send private messages to other users we need another input u for user that we need to send this to and this chat message will be message we will also have the user id value of user here what we need to do is we need to filter it out so let's say data we're going to say data dot message but we don't want to emit to the entire list instead we want to emit it to the person that this user belongs to so in order to do that we need to get it from the users so what we can do is users dot find index user return user dot user details user details contains the user name itself so let's call it uh, user id user id is data dot user id this is going to be index and we're going to send this to users index dot socket and we also need to restart our app refresh this page 
now we have three of these and this is going to be the message that we need to send first off let's add a user so let's call him John and we should have a user registered John and let's call this guy do so we have a user registered do now the message is going to be hey and uh, we're going to send it to do so apparently we kind of messed up the mistake was that I was uh, sending user ID as hey and message as do which means we've swapped these guys so the first one is supposed to be the user and the second one or the message and the second one is supposed to be the user okay so let's just send a message hey uh, but before that we need to register the user and we're going to register john and do and uh, we're going to send a message to do so let's go ahead and send that and uh, we have a console here and it says hey uh, so this time you can see that the message wasn't received by john and that is because we were filtering it based on the id uh, or the user id that we had sent before so again we can let's say mary and uh, now if you want to send something to do let's send it and you can see that this message is received here by john uh, or sorry by do but it's not received by mary so this way we can filter out our messages for private chats